Michelle Morgan has spent the majority of her professional life working in college athletics. But after five years as athletic director at John Carroll, Morgan wanted to get back to her roots. The opportunity to be the commissioner of Atlantic Hockey and College Hockey America was really something that I couldn't pass up. Um, it brings me back to my roots as a former ice hockey player and it still keeps me involved in college athletics just in a different way, in a more focused way in the sport of hockey and really seeing this as an opportunity to take my skill set and different experience working in the NHL, working in college hockey and really putting them all together in one opportunity to, to grow the game. But one of her biggest challenges since taking over is changing the perception of both leagues. There's a lot of um, misperceptions out there about what our teams and league is, um, you know, what we're doing and, and competing with, but also what's happening off the ice and in the communities and in the classroom. And so um, I think that that's an opportunity to course correct that narrative. Um, and then allow you know people to really see and learn so that they understand who we are. We we don't have the brand recognition that perhaps some of our competitive competitor leagues do, um, but we'll get there. I'm confident in that. A conference rebrand is already in the works as the men's and women's leagues will merge into one next season. It's two separate you know organizations of teams and operation can be a challenge right and so we weren't really working as smart as we could be in, in some regards so I think that this opportunity we're working with a with a partner firm that really is an expert in this that has worked with uh, college uh, entities organizations conferences to go through a rebrand but really understand the essence of the history and the story to then best encapsulate who we are and, and who we're going to be going forward. The new league will be expanding too. Just last month, Delaware announced its women's program will join the conference in 2025. As for adding new men's programs, that's actively being explored too. On the women's side with six teams, soon to be seven, we really have to be conscious of our numbers and we can't let that AQ be at risk, right? And so how are we doing that? We're the smallest conference. Uh, in numbers right now and so but I, I'm looking to not just add to add right we need to make sure that the institution is a good fit for for our organization and the teams that make up um, our conference and so that we're adding value in, in ways other than just saying hey let's just add to add a team our geographic footprint especially on the men's side is quite quite large um, we, we span so many states and three time zones that it can be a challenge at time with, um, with travel and that student athlete experience or missed class time. Um, so those are all things that administrators have to take into consideration when they're looking at potential and prospective programs that can be added. The women's program at Mercyhurst and the men's program here at RIT are still the only ones to have reached the Frozen Four. But the new commissioner believes this conference can consistently contend in the future. But there's a lot of parity in our league and there's a lot of parity in college hockey, right? That any given night a puck bounces one way or one team's battling injuries or you don't know what's going to happen, right? It's, it's a game of odds in some ways. And so that's part of the reason why we come and we play the game and we engage in what we do because we both start the game, you know, first, first face off anything can happen and so I think that absolutely without question in my mind right we may have some uphill battles to get to that point or to be there a little bit more regularly but there's no question in my mind that a team from College Hockey America or Atlantic Hockey can make it that far and be crowned a, a, a champion.